First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 49, verses 8 to 15. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor I answer you, on the day of salvation I help you, and I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages saying to the prisoners, Come out. To those in darkness, show yourself. Along the ways, they shall find pasture. On every bare height, their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them, leads them, and guides them, beside spring of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Sain. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains, for the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. John, chapter 5, verses 17 to 30. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, the Son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For what he does, the Son will do also. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever He wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but He has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honour the Son just as they honour the Father. Whoever does not honour the Son does not honour the Father who sent Him. Amen, Amen. I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. 
I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear and my judgment is just. Because I do not seek my own will but the will of the one who sent me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends in Christ Jesus, the Lord Jesus has come into the world and it is the Lord God who sent him as his only son and people are not ready to accept him and he has come into the world as the supreme judge, as the one who is going to judge the world. It's also an authority given by God Almighty to the Son. People are not ready to listen to him, but the dead will listen to him. And also, my dear friends, all authority the Lord God has given him because the Lord Jesus has shown his complete obedience to the Father and he does not want to do anything on his own, but he has done everything under the guidance of the Spirit and he has obeyed God Almighty. And my dear friends, I develop my relationship with God Almighty, with the Lord Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, not to have a supernatural life so that I will be a higher up in the society. I develop the relationship with the Lord so that I can come to know the will of the Father regarding my life and so that I can obey. I read the scriptures and I come to know the will of the Father for me and I pray and I come to know as to the mind of the Father regarding my life and when I really come to know as to what the Lord wants me to do and I am, my dear friends, expected that I obey the Lord. As the Lord Jesus obeyed God the Father, we are invited to obey God Almighty at all times, my dear friends. During this season of Lent, we are reminded the Lord Jesus paid the price and he obeyed the Father in the same way day in and day out. When I engage in prayer, when I read the scriptures, when I go for the sacrament of reconciliation, confession, when I partake of the Holy Eucharist, when the Lord speaks to me, I am invited to obey the Lord. And I am invited thereby to see as to how the Lord is asking me to act in my life, in my relationship with God Almighty. When I obey, Sometimes maybe that I cannot do what I want. I need to do what the Lord wants me regarding my life. When I do it, I am reminded that I am witnessing to the living presence of the Lord, asking for that grace. Let us pray during this holy day. Amen.